Now we are ready to create some additional pieces from that watch. Let's uh, first start to uh, model this rippled piece here. Uh, to do this, um, create a polygon cylinder again. Uh, let me move that up a little bit. So go here to the inputs and set the uh, subdivision caps to two. So select that middle mouse so that you have um, two splits in here, or at least one in the center here. And now let's select all those faces here, delete that, so that you have a single plane here. Um, let me center the pivot, and then let's bring this into its position. So move it in Z, and then hit V and middle mouse to bring it in the center of that hole. Um, we could also move this guy down a little bit. And now let me hit F to zoom in on that or frame in on that. Mm. We have to um, first scale this guy up um, to a point that it fits with the background image, somewhere about here. And now let's go in and say, okay, select this edge loop here, and let's uh, scale that down to somewhere about here. And now let's go here, select this edge, I hit uh, control, right click, go to the ettering utilities again and to ettering and split. And then up here under the inputs, set this to multi and set the divisions to 26. So with that done, um, we now have to select some faces here. So select this face and then shift select double click so I'm holding down shift um, all the time select this face double click on the next one this one uh, you get the idea watching me doing this okay so now we have um, all those faces selected and with that done go to extrude and let's extrude those up somewhere about here. So if you hit a three on the keyboard, you see those nice ripples. And I think I'm going with this one. It should work fine. We could, you might want to go back a step and move those faces a tiny bit down. Hit three to see the smooth version. And it looks good to me. So I. I leave it for now as it is. Okay, so now we have to copy that over. And we're doing this um, the same way we did uh, with the first cylinders we created. So uh, with that object still selected, hit Control D uh, and then move the pivot um, like we did before by holding down D and then X, middle mouse to the center of the grid. And then we have to rotate that again, uh, as we did before. Um, that was 263.5 degrees. And we do Control D to duplicate that, uh, that again. Bring that over and that was uh, 96.5. So now, um, yeah, we have um, our three ripple plates here or rippled surfaces. Um, okay. Let's create those little pointers and the little rivets here uh, on each of this part. So let's create a cylinder again. Mm, let's bring it to, oops, let's bring it by holding down the V key and the middle mouse over that vertex here. Let's bring it there. Mm. Let's scale that guy down. All right, so let's bring it up and scale it down in Y. And let's uh, change the subdivision caps to two. And now let's uh, extrude some faces here. One, two, hit extrude, and move those out. Oh, I took the wrong faces. So I need to take those here and hit extrude. 
and move those out somewhere about here okay so now let's add uh, some splits in here so insert edge loop tool I put in two here and two here and I might want to say okay select this edge here and go to the right um, again if you select one edge here and you hit control right click go to the edge ring utilities go to edge ring and split set this from relative to multi and now with um, those two edge loops created double click on double click on one shift double click on the other one and then scale it uh, why is that not scaling that's one shift select double click and then scale ah there you go for some reason didn't work the first time <laughs> Okay, so now let's go in and say hit a three. Mm, I want this um, a little bit more narrow in the end, so select those vertices here and scale those in. And then let's add in another edge loop here. Okay, so now hit a three on the keyboard. And what you see, a nice little pointer. Okay, um, maybe we want to add another split here on the end so that the edge uh, is a little bit more sharp down here. Okay, let's try that out. That's looking a little bit better. Turn off wireframe on shaded. All right, so now we get the, the pointer here and so yeah that's looking good to me um let me pause the video for a second and then we go in and um, create this little rivet and then we copy that over and we might want to start uh, creating some additional pieces in the next video okay see you